Last night we had a birthday party for both of my baby daughters. Uh, one turned 10, one turned seven. Happy birthday, Rhea and Aria. I'm kind of sleepy, but I need to get away. So I talked to my wife and I decided to come out to the river and I threw my anchor in just in front of us. And when I started pulling on a little bit to set it, it did not feel like sand. It felt great like gravel. I've never hit this spot before, so let's get a first look at it. All right, so to hit that spot, to check it out real quick, I'm loving this little spare air. I'm not a great free diver. One of their purposes is to be more of a, a spare air lifesaver if your regular tank runs out. Just don't push it that far. This for me is more of a scouting tool. Um, easy, just hold it, go down, check out the gravel. Oh, it's always so cold the first time. As you saw, really boring hard pan, but there was some dugong bone, dugong rib in there. And so, I don't know, I think I'm gonna strap down anyway, just in case, really check it out, make sure I'm not gonna regret it. Okay, we're naturally equipped with both the Nemo and the Nomad. My little reader over here said, just about six feet deep. So we will go with the Nemo ease of use to save the batteries from the Nomad for a deeper spot. Love this, the freedom I get from using these devices. As long as you don't have obstructions, this is a nice open area. Should not be a problem to use Nemo. Alright, let's go find some beautiful history. And that spot was a complete fail. There was practically nothing down there, but let's move on to the next one. All right, so we're trying to spot just down the way from that last one. This is much deeper and it's a little bit too deep for the Nemo. So we're busting out the Nomad. It's a little different unit because it can go much deeper. There's a lot of extra line, which you generally bundle up behind the unit, a little float bag. And I'm gonna use about 15 feet of line because it's about 12 feet right here. So hopefully this is our lucky spot, but if not, we'll just move on. Well, that was just another fail. Best find I got down there, a golf ball. It's got a ladybug on it. All right, yet another spot, and although I shouldn't probably feel optimistic, I still do. The anchor was grinding on something on the bottom again, so hopefully we've got a lot of gravel, hopefully a lot of fossils this time. better at this spot with the most notable find being the Nokia phone, probably about 85 million years old I believe. Got some fishing lures and some nice megs. Got this guy. That one unfortunately with a broken corner. Yeah man. Right there. 
bunch of broken ones as well. But uh, I think we gotta move on. Look for something better. It looks like we're on some mammoth. We have an actual mammoth down there. Uh, there's a lot of giant bone. There's obviously remains of a giant tortoise as well. But I came across this first. Looks like a part of the foot of a mammoth. They have several bones like this. And I started to come across some teeth. Um, at least partial portions of teeth. And then if you can see over there, at the end of the boat, I have a giant end of a bone. I'm not sure what that belongs to, but it's huge. It made the rest. Could no longer swim. Um, I found an anchor line and pulled myself up. I'm freaking cold. I'm gonna go back down there and see what we can come away with. Might be on some really good stuff. Quick commercial break. We do have these hats on pre-sale. They are um, gonna be shipped out right probably at the beginning of the year or just before that. Um, excellent quality Richardson uh, 112s with our logo and they've been selling pretty quick we have 33 well we had 33 varieties we're down to 30 um, but if you are interested in getting a cap go ahead and check out our site ihdt.store and pick one up So it looks like we're right. We found a mammoth. I don't know how much of it yet, but uh, got a couple of really good pieces so far. Oh, those are Colombian mammoth teeth. They're pretty big. So, there's one. Don't know if this is going to connect to anything I find, but this one is pretty complete right here. This one is pretty complete right here. These things are massive, and that is just amazing. You kind of have to clean up a lot, but uh, you can see how massive these teeth were, and that's really well intact. I am 
very pleased missing my family out here today but it's turning out pretty good What size? Mm -hmm. They're as, as big as an elephant. Wow. <laughs> Found this fully articulated vertebrae. This is a rare condition to find these things in. To have that process actually attached to the vertebrae. I got a mammoth here. I'm really excited. I'm going to go down, see how much more of this guy we can bring up. This is incredible. Alright, here's what we have so far. A lot of good stuff. I have another vert down there I need to bring up and it looks like a large shoulder piece. I'm not sure what it is. Um, but this stuff is just very, it's difficult to get up. I'm, I'm trying to drag the boat to the locations of the fossils and that way I can actually hold it in my arm, the bone, and then use my other arm to just kind of tether line up and then just toss it over the edge, you know, as softly as I can. Um, really should have brought a friend today, but this is my situation. Uh, wish me luck on the big stuff. So, absolutely killing it today. It's amazing. Um, third time was obviously the charm. Third spot we dropped in is the one that paid out. But check this out. This is a little bonus. When I was looking for more of that mammoth, came across this tapir jaw piece. And if you look deep in there, you can actually see another tooth down in there. So that is really cool. I don't have one of these yet in my collection. I do now. Successful day right there. Been out for that mammoth over and over, and I can't seem to find any more. I'm hoping that year after year we're gonna let some of that natural erosion expose more if it's still there. But I did bring one of the teeth back out here, and uh, just wanted to show you just how massive these things are. This right here is the chewing surface of course went back into the jaw that is a 12 pound tooth these massive creatures with 12 pound teeth and I, there's bigger ones than this that exist so that is that's something to behold right there hopefully i can come across a full femur or a full tusk or another perfect tooth um, in the years to come i'm going to keep on hitting that spot year after year i'm not going to give up on it 